my master's program. It's so collaborative, and I think that's the best way for us to really learn about the global health issues. There's so many resources available for us, and a small class size really encouraged me to come here. It's giving me a solid base and the research methods, which I feel is important. It's paramount that one has a good research background. They have the funding, they have the faculty, the knowledge, the expertise, all pretty much at your disposal. And it's up to you to step up and become the global health researcher that you desire to be, which is really great because you can find where you fit into the global health research spectrum. The Masters of Science in Global Health is a research degree. It's a multidisciplinary program at its inception. Our students can work with faculty from across the university. We really did not want to just recreate a Masters of Public Health with a global health focus. We do have a focus on research. We do that through a multidisciplinary curriculum. We require and support field work and research in global health. So we may attract some of the same students who are interested in a Master's of Public Health, but it's really the innovative curriculum, the flexibility of that curriculum, bringing in the entire university that I think excites our student body and really brings those uh, students here as opposed to a, a Master's of Public Health. Our students partner early with one of our many world-class faculty to develop their thesis and decide on where they will perform their field work and research. They do this together, jointly, uh, and it's a very uh, important part of the educational program here. I'm Jacqueline Durango. I'm in the Masters in Global Health program here at the Global Health Institute. The organization I work for is trying to find a better practices model in terms of screening women for cervical cancer. But we cannot do that without doing research, performing research first, and then implementing the programs. And the master's program has definitely helped me analyze and know what to do in the next step. And as we are watching our students come back from the numerous uh, opportunities that they have uh, participated in, everything from uh, working with orphans in Tanzania to distributing bed nets in Ghana. These are the young people who are asking the questions and determining the interventions that will be most successful uh, in uh, improving global health in the future. And we really think we're creating uh, that generation here at Duke. My name is Pap Guy. I'm the president and CEO of IntraHealth International. This is a, a very unique program, and I think it's very forward-thinking on the part of Duke. And I think by creating a program like this, you're beginning to put more rigor in the field, and then you're beginning also to bring science into it, because it is a science. The Triangle has just become one of those hubs in the country where there's a lot of thinking and a lot of commitment to global health. And this is also a place where uh, the new generation or the next generation of global health leaders is being prepared. My ultimate goal with time is to share what I've learned here with other people who don't have the chance to do so. You know, there's so much need out there that has really inspired me to continue working in global health. <laughs>